Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. I was just enjoying my new favorite book. I am wearing the shirt from the cover because my book comes out in exactly one week and I'm so fucking excited about it. And so excited about this tour. It's weird to see me this happy, huh? And I'm not even drunk. Seriously, this is crystal light because once I'm done shooting this video, I have to go back and plan some more tour. So I was thinking to myself, Mamrie, if you're not gonna be making a drink in this video and you're not gonna be drinking in a hot tub and you're not going to be answering questions while you drink rosé, what else is there? That's why I'm gonna show you how to meal prep for five days of vegan affordable lunches. Psych, fuck that shit. Those YouTubers give you recipes acting like they didn't just look it up on Pinterest. I have, however, thought of something fun we could do. First, let me introduce you to Chip. He's all over my Instagram. Do the math. Chip here is really great at a lot of things. <laughs> One of them being giving me would you rathers. And I know I just completely talk shit about YouTubers and now I'm sitting here doing a would you rather video, which is like pretty run of the mill, but I don't care, I thought it'd be fun. I put on makeup, I'm hydrating. So I could be surprised I had Chip record them and uh, send me these voice recordings. So this is the first time I will hear them. So this will be my genuine reaction. Also, he's very Southern. Would you rather be Amigos or Spice Girl? Chip, are you fucking crazy? Okay, I just found out who the Migos were like two weeks ago. Previously, the word Migos, I thought was like a Spanish egg dish, right? Isn't that something Spanish? Whoa. The Spice Girls were a revolution. The Spice Girls hit the scene when I was in prime time eighth grade. If I'd rather be them or the Migos, fool bitch, that wasn't even tough. Next one. Which would you rather, wear a, pon a tight ponytail straight for a week Ooh. or wear a bra straight for a week? I'm gonna say bra. The amount of times I just fall asleep in a bra anyway, I could get drunk every night enough to where that's possible. Who am I kidding, I already do. But a ponytail, when I take out a ponytail, and this time too, because apparently I'm 34 years old and still think that they're gonna do a remake of Gilligan's Island and I can be a combination of Ginger and Marianne and get paid for both parts, that's brilliant. Just sit right back and you'll hear a tale. When I take out a ponytail and give the scalp a little rub, ho oh mommy, ho oh mommy. Oh, mommy. Is there anything better? Would you rather be able to talk to animals or be able to travel only one hour into the past per day? Imagine if I could speak to beans. What do you think about me? Okay, well that's just rude. All right, the last time I adopted a little five pound of skin. I think I'd travel back an hour each day because when you eat a really good meal and you just want to do it again, when you have really good sex and you just want to do it again, when you have really bad meal and you just want to do it over again and avoid it, time travel for shell. Okay, which would you rather? Okay. Never have to shave again or never go grocery shopping again. This is an interesting one because I actually enjoy grocery shopping. You know, I like getting in there and smelling the produce. I like squeezing the lemons. I like feeling the length of the banana. But shaving can be a bit of a pain in the ass. I recently joined the Dollar Shave Club so I can have razors on hand at all times because I normally am not the best groomer. But I've been grooming more recently because, hello, remember Super Mario over here? Which is confusing because I was never previously attracted to Mario and now, you know, when Mario goes underground, I just wanna sing. <laughs> Shave Club, you ask? It's like a box delivery system specifically for shaving. Long story short, if you go to dollarshaveclub.com slash for five bucks, you can get the shit shower and shave kit, also known as their daily essential starter kit. And it comes with these things. Peppermint scented one wipe Charlies. These little wipes will keep you fresh and then you can just flush them away. I mean, you gotta keep the undercarriage clean, ladies and gents. Peppermint shouldn't only be for your mouth. Amber Alert, this adorable trial size of Amber Lavender Body Cleanser smells so good, it'll have you saying, would you lather? Shave butter, mmm, that sounds delicious. I do need a snack. What's that? <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. Shave butter is actually a nice, smooth way to get close to your follicles without getting irritated. In addition to those adorable toiletries, they also give you the executive razor. Comes with this convenient weighted handle and a full cassette of razors. If you like them, then you just order more whenever you want them. It's not rocket science, it's grooming. Which can feel like rocket science sometimes, but not if you got the Dollar Shave Club. Pound it out. You're gonna pound it out once you get fully groomed. Uh -huh. Well that would you rather sure was convenient. Thanks, Chip. <laughs> Which would you rather? Where are you? Be handed 
your diary from your future self about the next five years, or would you rather go have a drink with yourself from 10 years, 10 years ago? Oh, this is tough because then you get into like the theories and the philosophies behind Back to the Future. And if I like went back in time and saw 24 year old Mamrie, would I change my course? Oh shit. I would go and have a drink with 24 year old me. I'd pull a Biff in Back to the Future too, and I would give myself like all the things that I should bet on. Ooh, shit. I guess I'd go back 10 years and pay my 24 year old self a large sum of money to. Am I gonna get flagged? Maybe just make them really sick. Maybe just make them really sick. Which would you rather? Be able to communicate with the dead or never ever have a hangover again in your life? Oh shit. I think hangover, go scare me. But not having a hangover, like that's something I could use on a daily basis. I don't care about connecting people to their loved ones who have passed. I, mean, I ain't trying to be today's Sylvia Brown. However, it's like looking in a future mirror. I don't to be Long Island medium, everyone knows I'm a large. But not having a hangover? I gotta switch this bitch out as soon as possible. <laughs>